Hi guys, how's it going? So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at different equations of lines. Okay, um, so we're going to use vectors, but we're also going to tie vectors back into our old equations of lines. All right. So for example, now I could say that y is equal to mx, so 1x plus b, right? Or I could say that this is the vector equation xy is equal to initial position, so 0, 2, plus a parameter times the direction. Remember, direction is horizontal, vertical, so 1, 1. Okay? These two equations essentially say the same thing, but here we input an x and we get a y back. Here we input a t and we get an xy coordinate back. So what we want to look at is three types of equations. The first one is the vector equation. So a vector s, so we'll call a point x, y, s, is, remember, a position vector plus a parameter, in this case I'll use lambda, um, times a direction vector. So, remember what it looks like is the point x, y is equal to a position vector, so I'll call that x naught, y naught, because it's usually a starting point, plus parameter times, and then I'll call it x1, y1 for a direction. All right, so there's our vector equation, okay? So let's look at another one. So this is called a parametric equation, okay? And it's actually two equations in this case. And here, given the parameter lambda, we can find out either the x or the y coordinate on their own. So uh, here we are, parametric equation. So how do we get there? So let's start off with a vector equation. So x, y is equal to x naught, y naught, so starting point, plus parameter, I'll call it lambda, and then I'll call this x, r, y, r. Okay, so that's our that's our direction vector, x, r, y, r. Okay, now what we want to do is we just want to look at the x's. Okay, so if I just want to look at the x's, that's all I want to see. Okay, so that means that x is equal to the starting position of the x plus lambda times the direction of x. Okay, also I can say that the y coordinate is going to be the starting position of the y plus lambda and then the direction of the y. Okay, so let's see a quick example. Okay, so let's say that I tell you that a vector has the equation uh, negative 1, 2 plus lambda times negative 1, negative 3, okay? So we want to find x at lambda equals 0, okay? So I could plug in lambda equals 0 and find out everything, but if I just want to know the x, I can just use the parametric equation. x is equal to negative plus 1 plus lambda times negative 1. Okay, and if lambda is 0, I know that x is negative 1 plus 0 times negative 1, which is negative 1. So we get the answer, the x coordinate is negative 1. Okay? Alright, let's look at the last one. And this is an important one. So a Cartesian equation is basically what you've seen in your previous courses. Okay, so a Cartesian equation just means two dimensions. Notice here, there's no lambda. Okay, um, so there's no parameter, and we just have an x and a y coordinate. Okay, so let's say we start again with a vector is equal to, uh, let's say that it's in this case, 
one two plus lambda negative two one okay now what we want to start with is we want to start with our parametric equations okay so there is our x parametric equation and here is our y parametric equation all right so we know that x is 1 minus 2 lambdas and we know that y is 2 plus 1 lambda okay now what I want to do is I want to get rid of lambda right because I want to write this in a way that's just got x and y in it okay so that means that I can take this guy here and I can write him as x is x minus 1 is equal to negative 2 lambda so that means that x minus 1 over negative 2 is equal to lambda okay this equation down here we can now rewrite as y minus 2 is equal to lambda. Now I want you to stop and think back to what our goal is and it's really to get rid of lambda, right? We just want x and y in our equation. So I've got lambda is equal to that, lambda is equal to that. Well if, those, if both of these things are equal to lambda, it means that they must be equal to each other, right? Okay, so now we've just got x and y, and all we have to do now is simplify, right? So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. So I've got x minus 1 is equal to negative 2 times y minus 2, right? So all I did was I cross multiplied. There's like a 1 there that I multiplied by, right? So I get that. And now, to put this into standard form, right? Remember what standard form looks like? It looks like ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Okay? So if I want that to happen, I have my ax. I'll move my by over. And plus c, which means negative 1, minus 4. So minus 5 is equal to 0. So there is my Cartesian equation. All right, okay, so let's do a couple of examples. All right, so we want to find the vector, the parametric, and the Cartesian equations for a line passing through 2, 3 parallel to the vector 2i minus 4j. All right, so what that means is we want to line, so we'll do the vector equation first, okay? So here is the vector equation, okay? So I want it to pass through 2, 3. Okay, so I'll make that my starting point, okay, plus some parameter times the direction. Well, it's in the direction of the vector 2, negative 4, right? So a parallel means in the direction of, so that's my vector equation, okay? So that was the vector, okay? Now let's do parametric, okay? Remember, parametric just means that we are going to um, take the x's out so this will be x is 2 plus 2t and y is 3 minus 4t okay so that's our parametric and the last thing that we have to do is probably the trickiest but to do the Cartesian Okay, so for the Cartesian, remember what we're going to do is we're going to isolate T in both of these and then we'll get rid of it. Okay? So Cartesian will be, um, so now I want to isolate T, so it'll be X minus 2 over 2 is T, because I got rid of that 2 by subtracting, got rid of that 2 by dividing, and I got that Y minus 3 over negative 4 is equal to t okay so now that I know that that's true I know that both these things are equal to each other because they're both equal to t right so I can say that x minus 2 over 2 is the same as y minus 3 over negative 4 now I'll cross multiply 
So I'll get negative 4 x minus 2 is equal to 2 y minus 3. So that'll tell me that negative 4 x plus 8 is equal to 2 y minus 6. And now to rearrange, I got negative 4x minus 2y plus 8 plus 6. So plus 14 is equal to 0. And now remember, I don't want a leading 1 in standard form. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. And I'll get 4x plus 2y minus 14 is equal to 0. Okay? And this I'm going to set up for you, and I'm going to leave you to do for homework and then we'll talk about it in class. But the point of intersection, we need to figure out when this is equal to that. Okay. Now, there is one little thing that I want to change here, and I left it like this to start off with, but if we have two different vectors, we don't know that their time scales are the same. So really, well, if I call this one t, I have to call this one something else. Okay. So I'm just going to rename it k. All right. Okay. So basically, if one hour goes by here, I don't know that one hour has gone by here, right? Maybe this one started two hours after this one, right? So they're not necessarily going to be the same parameter. Okay, now if I want the point of intersection, remember we can set the two lines equal to each other and see what happens. All right, so let's do that. So I'm going to set 2, 3 plus t times 2, 1 equal to... 5, negative 2, plus k, 1, negative 2. Sorry about the squiggle. All right. So now what we're going to do is, what kind of form do you think I'm going to be working with? Because this is kind of difficult to deal with. Okay. Well, what I want to do is I want to break these down into their parametric equations. So I just want to look at the x's versus the x's. And what that will give me is 2 plus 2t is equal to 5 plus 1k, and the y's versus the y's. So that'll give me 3 plus t is equal to negative 2 minus 2k. All right, and now what you've got here is all I'm going to do for you. You guys are going to solve the rest of this, okay? So what you have is two equations, two unknowns, all right? So what I want you to do is first find out what t is, what k is, and then tell me what the actual point of intersection is. All right. So bring that with you tomorrow to class. And here's the last one that we're going to look at the vector equation of the line passing through these two points. All right. So what that means is that I've got two points. So I'll just draw them roughly one, two, and negative three, four. Okay, and I want a vec I want a vector equation of a line that goes through them. Okay, so either that way or that way, it doesn't matter. All right, so remember, for a vector equation, I want a starting point. So I can pick this one or this one, doesn't matter. Let's pick that one just for fun, one, two. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put a parameter there. And now I need a direction, okay? Well, the direction, I don't really know. I can't count it here because it's not a scale. But remember, it's kind of like the slope, rise over run, okay? So I want the horizontal distance that's being traveled. That's from 1 to negative 3. So horizontal distance is the difference in x's, okay? So that's 1 minus negative 3. Okay, so that's 4. So my horizontal, horizontal distance is 4. And my vertical distance is the difference in y's. Okay, so here since I did 1 minus negative 3, I'm going to do 2 minus 4. And that's negative 2. Okay. So there's my vector equation. x, y is equal to 1, 2 plus t times 2, negative 4. All right. So what I would like you to do is try to finish that problem. And also, um, these questions are the ones that we're going to get to in class. All right. Okay. That's all, folks.